Welcome to another episode of ETF 360. I'm Tom Lydon with ETF Trends, and joining me today is Steve Cook, Managing Director of Harbor Capital Advisors. Hey, Steve, welcome. Give us an update on what's been going on at Harbor Capital. You guys have been head down into the ETF business. Yeah, it's great to be here, Tom. Good to be talking with you. So, uh, you know, Harbor, for the first 35 years of its existence, was primarily a mutual fund firm. Uh, we have a long history of finding and uncovering great asset managers and specific asset classes and delivering alpha for our investors. Uh, and, you know, we really looked at uh, the changing nature of the advisory market and how investors uh, access active management uh, and re recognize the need to be more vehicle agnostic. Uh, people wanted product, they want Harbor's expertise, uh, but they want it in different packages than maybe they did five years ago. And so we set out on uh, uh, an adventure to be vehicle agnostic. Uh, we launched CITs and added that to our uh, platform. And then uh, in 2021, uh, we launched our first ETFs, uh, which were two fixed income products with a firm called Blue Cove Asset Management. And so we're really excited uh, to be in the industry and to be able to deliver exciting uh, investment products uh, for investors in the ETF structure. Steve, as you know, we are surveying and, and asking questions of advisors all the time. Two years ago, two years ago, their biggest concern was inflation, even though the Fed was signaling they weren't concerned about it. But here we are, fast forward to today. It is a concern. Tell us a little bit about uh, your product structure and how you're offering up some tools for advisors in that regard. Yeah, we're really excited to be able to, to uh, bring interesting products for advisors. Uh, shortly after we launched our uh, two fixed income products, we added a number of equity products in the market. Uh, and then uh, we came back uh, with uh, a product um, called the All Weather Inflation Focus Index uh, with a firm called Quantix, uh, who, uh, whose uh, principles have a long history uh, in the commodities trading market. Um, most of them worked out of Goldman Sachs for a long time. And we, we try and deliver different solutions for investors that they may not be getting or they need access to. And inflation being uh, so top of mind uh, for investors and advisors in the marketplace, uh, we kind of surveyed the market and said, you know, is there really a product out there that's specifically designed uh, to help investors with the inflation problem? There are other commodity products. They're based on indices. Those indices weren't specifically created to address the inflation problem. They were created to address uh, the idea of getting a representative performance of the commodity market. Uh, and so uh, we're really excited to, to bring uh, Ticker Hedger, H-G-E-R, uh, uh, out with Quantix to try and solve the specific problem of allowing investors to have a product that, that helps them fight the inflation bug in their, in their portfolio. Um, and so, you know, the, the specific areas that Hedger addresses, uh, one, there are really two types of inflation um, kind of issues that occur, right? You have demand or scarcity inflation, and then you have uh, inflation that's driven by debasement or, or currency issues. And Hedger really tries to attempt to address both of those periods of inflation through the index construction and through the role process. Uh, and so if we're experiencing inflation as a result of scarcity, Hedger can be a solution. If we're experiencing inflation as a result of debasement, uh, Hedger can dynamically change its focus and add more gold to its allocation and thereby protecting investors in uh, a number of different regimes throughout the process. Steve, that's great. And um, again, knowing you and knowing Harbor, there's a lot of opportunity to be really flexible and advisors more than ever with everything going on in the world today need those types of tools because it's not as easy as it used to be based on portfolio construction. Hey, Steve, great seeing you. Thanks so much for spending some time with me and look forward to catching up with you personally real soon. Thanks, Tom. Look forward to seeing you down in Florida.